Get ready to journey to the fourth planet from the sun, Mars. Today, Mars is a cold, dusty desert world with a thin atmosphere, but it wasn't always this way. Join us as we travel back in time to explore Mars before it lost its water, atmosphere, and magnetic field. We'll uncover the causes of these massive planetary changes and look at what the future holds for Mars and humanity. Hello and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Billions of years ago, Mars was quite different. Imagine a planet with blue skies, flowing rivers, and vast oceans. Scientists believe this was the Mars of the distant past, long before it became the dry, barren world we see today. Let's dive into the intriguing transformation of Mars and understand the forces that reshaped it. Evidence from NASA's rovers and orbiters suggests that Mars once had liquid water on its surface. Features like river valleys, lake beds, and water-formed minerals indicate a wetter Mars. Water once flowed across the planet, carving channels and filling basins. The largest channels, such as the Valles Marineris, stretch thousands of kilometers and are up to 10 kilometers deep, dwarfing the Grand Canyon on Earth. Scientists estimate Mars's ancient oceans might have covered about 19% of its surface, similar in size to the Atlantic Ocean on Earth. The northern lowlands of Mars are particularly notable, possibly having held an ocean larger than the Arctic Ocean. Visualize lakes dotting the Martian landscape, rivers winding through valleys, and perhaps even rain feeding these waterways. This is supported by discoveries of hydrated minerals and sedimentary structures that form in water. These ancient lakes might have been havens for life, much like early Earth's primordial soup. So, how did Mars change from a potentially habitable world to the dry desert we see today? To understand this, we need to examine Mars's magnetic field, or magnetosphere, and its atmosphere. A planet's magnetosphere is essential for maintaining an atmosphere. Earth's strong magnetic field protects us from harmful solar radiation and helps keep our atmosphere in place. Mars also had a magnetosphere generated by the movement of molten metal in its core. This created a magnetic field that shielded its atmosphere from the solar wind. However, as Mars's inner core cooled, it lost this magnetic field. Smaller than Earth, Mars cooled more quickly, and when its core solidified, it could no longer generate a magnetic field. Studies suggest Mars lost its magnetic field about 4.2 billion years ago, leaving it vulnerable to the solar wind. Without a magnetosphere, Mars's atmosphere was gradually stripped away by the solar wind, a process known as atmospheric sputtering. This took millions of years, but the outcome was a thin atmosphere less than 1% the density of Earth's. Without a thick atmosphere, Mars couldn't retain heat, leading to the freezing or sublimation of its remaining water, turning from ice to vapor and escaping into space. Mars transformed from a warm, wet world to the cold, dry planet we see today, with an average surface temperature around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, far too cold for liquid water to persist on the surface. Could Mars have supported life? Scientists believe it's possible. Liquid water is crucial for life as we know it. If Mars had water for long enough, microbial life could have developed. Early Mars had conditions similar to early Earth, where life first emerged, including volcanic activity, a thick atmosphere, and liquid water, all essential for life. If life existed on Mars, it was likely single-celled organisms thriving in nutrient-rich waters, possibly around hydrothermal vents, similar to early life on Earth. Hydrothermal vents provide heat and minerals that can sustain life, making them prime locations for the origins of life on both planets. Today's missions, like NASA's Perseverance rover, are searching for signs of ancient life. Perseverance is exploring Jezero Crater, which once held a lake. By studying the rocks and soil, scientists hope to find biosignatures, chemical or physical signs of past life. 
Jezero Crater was chosen because its delta deposits are excellent at preserving organic molecules and potential fossils. Perseverance is also collecting samples to be brought back to Earth, which could contain clues about Mars' past climate, habitability, and possibly even fossils of ancient microorganisms. The rover is equipped with advanced instruments to analyze the chemical composition of rocks and soil, searching for complex organic molecules that might indicate past life. Understanding Mars's watery past is crucial for several reasons. It helps us learn more about the history of our solar system and the conditions that led to habitability. It also lays the groundwork for the search for life beyond Earth. If life arose independently on Mars, it suggests that life might be common in the universe, potentially existing on many other planets. Mars and Earth share many similarities, including polar ice caps, similar landforms, and a history of volcanic activity. By studying Mars, we learn more about our own planet's history and evolution. For example, Mars's volcanic regions, like Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, offer insights into volcanic processes that also occurred on early Earth. The knowledge gained from studying Mars also prepares us for future human exploration. Scientists and engineers are planning missions to send humans to Mars. Understanding the planet's history and resources is essential for these missions. Future explorers could use local resources, such as extracting water from ice or using Martian soil for growing food, to support long-term missions. One day, humans might live and work on Mars, using its resources to support life and create a sustainable presence. As technology advances, this dream is becoming more feasible. Concepts for habitats, life support systems, and transportation are being developed to make human life on Mars possible. The search for life on Mars continues with future missions by international space agencies and private companies aiming to explore new regions and dig deeper into the Martian surface. The European Space Agency's ExoMars rover, set to launch in 2028, will drill into the Martian subsurface to search for signs of life where microorganisms could be protected from harsh surface conditions. Technological advances are essential for these explorations. Innovations in robotics, artificial intelligence, and remote sensing enhance our ability to study Mars in unprecedented detail, allowing us to analyze vast amounts of data and make discoveries previously impossible. Studying Mars also refines our search for life beyond our solar system. Exoplanets, or planets orbiting other stars, are being discovered rapidly. Understanding what makes a planet habitable helps us identify exoplanets that might host life. Mars, with its similarities and differences to Earth, serves as a natural laboratory for these studies. Finding life or past signs of life on Mars would have profound implications. It would challenge our understanding of life's uniqueness and prompt us to reconsider our place in the universe. If life can arise on two neighboring planets, it might be a common phenomenon, suggesting the universe is teeming with life. The many missions to Mars have been long and challenging. Early missions in the 1960s and 70s like NASA's Mariner and Viking programs, paved the way for our current understanding. Mars rover's spirit, opportunity, curiosity, and perseverance have built on this legacy, each mission contributing new insights and discoveries. The future of Mars exploration is bright, with collaborative efforts between space agencies, private companies, and international partners expanding our capabilities. The Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon, establish a presence, and perhaps build a moon base that will serve as a stepping stone for future Mars missions. Mars is not just an endpoint, it's a gateway. The technologies and strategies developed for Mars exploration will help us explore other destinations, such as the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which may also harbor subsurface oceans and potential life. As we look up at the night sky and see Mars shining bright, we understand that this distant world once had conditions for life. Our journey to uncover its secrets is just beginning, and who knows what we might find as we continue to explore the Red Planet.
Mars has been a focus of scientific exploration because of its potential for past or present life, as well as its similarities to Earth. Various missions by NASA, ESA, and other space agencies have sent rovers, landers, and orbiters to study Mars' surface, climate, and geology. Key Features of Mars Two moons, Phobos and Deimos, which are small and irregularly shaped. Polar ice caps, composed of water and dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide. Seasonal changes, similar to Earth due to its axial tilt, which causes seasons. Future exploration plans include potential human missions and colonization efforts, with organizations like NASA and SpaceX working towards making Mars a destination for human exploration and habitation. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we thank our viewers for joining us on this journey through Mars's history. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries about Mars by clicking the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps us create more amazing content for you.